What is going on guys? Welcome back. We've got some pretty exciting news today. First and foremost, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. We've had a pretty good influx of new faces here on the channel watching the content. Welcome. Hope that you enjoy the content to come. So, some of the big news for the car is she is going to be changing colors. And I've got a really exciting series coming for that that I think that you guys are really going to like. So we're going to be vinyl wrapping the car and doing a pretty cool color. The color being this super awesome like dark gray, super glossy like it's it's got like in some Italian name like Grigio Tesla or something. I I couldn't pronounce it, so it's some dark gray is what we're going. So the plan for the series for this wrap is going to be I'm going to be ordering bits and pieces of wrap at a time to keep the cost down and wrap the entire car a little bit of time you know such as we're gonna do a hood then we're gonna do fenders and then we're gonna do a bumper and stuff slowly over time cars probably gonna look really tacky until it's finally done but I'm doing that in order to show you guys how to wrap the pieces of the car and basically show you how to keep the cost down a lot of um, professional wrap shops will charge two to three thousand dollars depending on what color and, and material and stuff you choose for your car to be wrapped and after going through and doing some of the math and accounting for all the mess ups and stuff that I'm probably gonna do doing it myself the material is gonna cost me around five hundred dollars to wrap my entire car myself so, I mean, the savings there is huge. It's just, I'm probably going to mess up a whole bunch, and I'm probably going to seek a lot of help from actual professional rappers. So, I don't know. It should be fun, though. It should be very entertaining. It'll be nice to be able to, like, actually go through and wrap everything and, and show you guys how to do it. So, as an introduction to that series, we're going to be removing the mirrors and the mirror caps to show you guys how to take those off, get them wrapped up, and this will be the beginning to that series. So, let's get into it. So, first thing you want to do to remove this mirror cap here, and this mirror lens here, is come up to your mirror. The only tool that you're going to need to take this cap off is a flathead screwdriver or like a little pry something to push a tab to the left the left the left yes okie dokie I'm not gonna lie this is a really really scary process just because the tabs that are held on this mirror cap if you tug a little too hard they have a history of cracking and making tiny holes on the outside of right here so it's one of those gentle yet forceful kind of removals I guess you would you would call that yeah a removal anyways here's how you begin the process first thing you want to do is come up to your mirror cap every car I've ever owned takes this mirror lens off the exact same way so if you don't have a 135i you got another BMW like it should come off relatively the same you want to take your mirror push it as far in as possible so you create this little space here you want to kind of shove your fingers in the back of this corner it's a really really tight fit and just kind of pull towards you pull that way get your finger in there as close to the center as you can you want to shove your finger close this way so you don't crack this glass when trying to take it off if you have tiny hands then this is going to be super easy for you but I do not I've got these fat sausage fingers so it's really hard for me to get in there right Ugh. But, like I said, be firm yet gentle, because it'll just snap out just like that. And it's kind of a scary noise, but don't pull all the way out. Once you've got it unsnapped, and it's coming down, you'll see it's got a power supply connected to it. I like to kind of pop this out of its brackets, just so I have a little bit more tension. I'm just going to leave that hanging for a second, very gently. Notice here that this clip is kind of pushed in actually a little bent I'm gonna need a screwdriver to unclip this but this clip 
it's going to seem really hard to unhook because it's got rubber gaskets waterproofing the electrical connection that fit really snug inside this little housing here so be careful and finesse it a little bit to take it out okie dokie you can see that i've gotten it out that little red ring there you can see is that little rubber gasket i just kind of put a flat head right here on the little clip and just i don't know kind of it's easy to pull out i don't really need to explain that so set your mirror aside and you'll see clip one. Oh man this is really dark clip one clip two clip three and clip four right down in there you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver in here and push these clips to the left while using your other hand from the top of the mirror cap to kind of pull this way you'll see it'll move just slightly definitely need two hands to do this because you don't want to crack and break anything but you'll see as I push it'll move slightly so you want to deactivate these clips little at a time on one side and kind of keep pushing until it starts to want to move away you can see now I'm starting to get a little slack here that's moving so I'm gonna come over to these clips start releasing them a little bit you'll start to feel a bunch of movement in this mirror so once the cap is starting to come off a little bit I like to kind of give it a little extra encouragement really gently through here and be as careful as possible not to scratch your paint I'd recommend probably putting a microfiber towel or something over this but for the sake of the video I'm not gonna do that yeah. so you can see here I'm still just kind of working my way slowly around in a big clockwise circle and I'm making some progress it's slow progress but there's like progress they're like the clips kind of look like stairs where it'll go clip 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 so you're just releasing one at a time all the way around until it pulls all the way off pretty good design I guess for keeping the mirror caps on at speed but it's a bitch and a half to try and get off carefully so if you're not finding that you're getting any progress kind of give it a little bit of a nudge with your screwdriver up top and it'll pull off pretty easy just be careful I cannot stress that enough as I try and force it off on camera so I'm such a great example for you guys nearing the end here and it will just slide right off it's gonna be really dirty in there but all of my clips are intact you can see what I mean here by saying that the clip is kind of a staircase looking thing it's got like a texture if you can hear that you'll see what I mean when you're taking it off yourself but just be careful and take your time now what you're gonna be left with is a naked mirror but you've taken off your mirror cap very very carefully here and your mirror itself it's as simple as that if you were looking forward to seeing the entire car wrapped and um, going through that process and learning to wrap the car in yourself go ahead and drop a like down on this video subscribe for the series to come I'm starting the uh, the first video today on wrapping these mirror caps so until next time I will see you guys later